Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius for the month of November. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Now, although I'm reading for November, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. So let's begin. You have the um, the past, possibly uh, a past person that's coming back, um, and your experiences with that person um, also come with him. So it's like it comes back to haunt you. Although you may have very deep feelings and a very deep attachment to this person, and you want to believe what they're telling you, um, it's almost like um, it's almost like you couldn't believe them in the past, um, that there was deception in the past or bad intentions in the past. Um, it's like you really, <clears throat> excuse me, you really desire this person, but in a way there is, they have a, um, they have a, a repeating pattern of behavior that could be toxic, uh, that is not good for the relationship and it's like you know they're not good for you but you want them anyway it's that that type of energy because uh you you are in love with this person or at least have very strong feelings for this person it feels like in um it feels like um in the past, you probably would have taken them back easier. It's like this time you're going to really think about it, okay? Because you you feel like you were a victim with the power. It, it, the power card, um, it can be that this person comes back and they're trying to persuade you of something that you don't really believe or maybe is persuading you to do something that you might feel is wrong, or that is not fair. I mean, for some of you, this can be third party with the devil sitting here. You see, this is, um, you have the devil and the five of wisdom at the bottom of the deck. That's third party energy. Um, but it could also be um, just a toxic uh, person or a pattern it's like a, you see this person really tries to move on from, from this devil because of the Ten of Swords. It's like they're, they feel betrayed by them. They're hurt. There's been many disappointments. Um, possibly, like I said, um, a toxic pattern with this person and it's like you really want to go back to them um, you're trying to move forward you, you're trying to move actually you're trying to move away from them but the emotion pulls you back to them I'll, I'll say it like that you're still very much emotionally attached to this person and I feel um, tempted you're tempted You're tempted to believe them, what they're telling you. But you feel that because of the past, we have history and we have the tree. So it's been going on for quite some time. It's like you, uh, it's like you're behind the wall. So it's, it's a card of rebellion, actually, resistance. So you're resisting. Uh, the offer because it f it could threaten you in some way. Well, it threatens you in the way that you know it didn't turn out the last time or the last few times or that you know it's not good for you in some way. So you're trying to resist. That, that's, that's what it is. You feel like this person is coming back, saying all these nice things, being really nice to you to get something from you, that they're, they're trying to take advantage of you, that they have bad intentions. And you, um, there's something that they, 
are trying to persuade you to do to move forward. I, I mean, they could be trying to persuade you to take them back. It could be just as simple as that. But this is somebody uh, trying to persuade you into some type of forward movement to change or transform something. Um, and you're resisting it. Because you don't know if you can transform or if this person has transformed. It's possible they come back and tell you they've changed. Or that something about them has changed that would open the door for a new opportunity with this person. That you would actually take the opportunity. There's something they're trying to convince you of, but... Uh, because of the past, because of history, um, because of the way it ended here, you're resisting. Playing your cards close to your chest when it comes to this person. The obstacle, bad intentions. It's what you feel it is. One minute, I'm just going to put my little dog on the floor because she's um, she wants to get down. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Um... I feel like you, uh, there was, there was a confrontation in the past, you walked away and now you have a new beginning in front of you, but you, with the same person, you know, is bad for you in some, in some way or for whatever reason or for multiple reasons. In the past, you had the angel energy, so you're... Uh, your view of the truth would have been clouded by illusion um, because of the devil or because of emotions, okay? Moving forward, you want to be more logical um, or to think or to use logic. Um, you're trying to resist the emotional attachment that you have to this person. Why? Because of the uh, because of the the um, the troublemaker that's here, the magician. Again, so the magician um, says that you're feeling uh, like a victim and are haunted by the past. In the past, you're looking here. Uh, you have the troublemaker. So this person has caused some trouble for you in the past. And now you it's like you're withdrawn. You're burdened uh, by this decision. Um, you don't really know which uh, direction to take. And you do not have clarity because the candle is out. It's pouring rain outside the window. There is medicine here on the table beside you. And you have a book here and your thumb is like marking a specific page so that would be the page uh, of deception heartbreak and this is what you're reflecting upon and you're trying to figure out what your next best move is to make you feel a very deep connection with this person possibly you might even think that this is your soulmate but the devil energy is here so I think it is an illusion of one or you it is like the illusion uh, that they may have created. Um, I feel like this person put distance between you and now they're back. Or you put distance between you and them and now they're back. But you can't believe what they're saying. You feel they're going to break, uh, break your heart, break a promise. Um, this particular justice card is sitting right in the middle Something is out of balance and you feel it. Something is just, it doesn't feel right and you can't put your finger on it. So you're paying close attention. You're trying to figure out if somebody is playing fair or not. What is the truth here? So you're trying to um, use logic, like I said, because you know that if you uh, go with the heart, there could be uh, consequences, you know. So this person comes in and they are presenting a new beginning. 
um, with that ace of coins something that this is somebody that you did at least at one time value and emotionally you still carry a connection you still carry a flame for this person here they are here's the offer page of cups here they come the world so this is going to be a, a, a choice you can choose you can choose to go another cycle with this person or you can choose a brand new cycle a new plan is being presented to you with new uh, circumstances or what appear to be it, it appears like something has changed or they're trying to convince you that something has changed but your resistance uh, you're resisting because of the past and because of a feeling you've got a feeling okay follow up on your feeling um, you should never discard that um, here you have the seven of cups so you have these options in front of you okay for the future and the cups are empty and you're too afraid to look at what might fill them in the future and so you're confused as to what to do which cup to choose what is true and what is false what is fantasy and illusion and what is reality so you're going to be faced with a choice here i thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.